Welcome once again. Now it is another day. Now we can talk about the types of nuclear reactions. Let us see the other part in radioactivity, which is called the types of nuclear reactions. We are having two types of nuclear reactions. One is nuclear fission, and the second is nuclear fusion. So we are having two of these types of nuclear reaction, and we have to know how to differentiate them. And there is a difference between this and this one. The types of the nuclear reactions, we are having two of them. One is nuclear fission, and the second is nuclear fusion. So to differentiate these two things, we have to know the meaning of these two things. Nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is the process in which the unstable nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller nuclei. Means the larger nucleus of an atom, which is unstable, when it is broken down to release two or more than two smaller nucleus, is what we term as nuclear fission. So it is all about the breaking down or splitting down of the large and stable nucle nucleus atom to form at least two or more than two smaller nucleus. Example, uranium undergoes nuclear fission in such a way that uh, this is broken down to form these two nuclei, these two smaller nucleus, and in the presence of neutron. That is why I've said the splitting may be initiated by bombardment of the nucleus using the neutrons. So the neutron is definitely used to break down of this one. So the bombardment of the neutrons in the uranium to form those two different nuclei, which are smaller than uranium, it is what definitely we call it nuclear fission. So the nuclear fission is all about the breaking down of the large one to form the smaller one, or the heavy one to, to form the lighter one. But this nuclear fission of half element is a highly exothermic reaction, means it is the reaction that leads or gives out heat to the surrounding. And this is definitely, we can say, it can release a large amount of heat energy. Means it, if it is a highly exothermic reaction, it gives out what we call it heat energy to the surrounding. And that is the definitely important point to note. But after we have seen what is a nuclear fission, we have nuclear fusion. Fusion comes from the word fuse, means getting together, two substances together, so as we, more, we may form the other one after we have joined them. So this is all about joining the lighter one to form the heavy one. That is why we say this is a process in which a lighter nuclei join together to form a heavier nucleus. So a heavier one is formed from the lighter one. So it is all about joining them together to form the heavier one. So this is all about what we call it nuclear fusion. And it is accompanied by the release or absorption of heat. It may need heat or it may release heat. Heat may be released or heat may be absorbed. So this is all about the nuclear fusion. Example, once you have taken these isotopes of hydrogen together, means you are getting together this one and this one to form the larger one, which is helium, in the presence of neutron as a part of what we call fusion, and the energy is released. So joining together these isotopes of hydrogen to form helium, this is all about fusion, and that is why we say nuclear fusion. Therefore, after we have seen the difference between nuclear fusion and nuclear fission, the difference in that this is all about breaking down of the large one and this is joining together of the smaller one so as to form the heavy one. So this is the difference between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. After we have seen so far, we have to see what we term, we definitely call applications of nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. We have two main applications of the things. Manake tunama tumizi mawili. Kwanza, hii inatumika katika uzalishaji wa umeme ambao unatumika majumbani na viwandani lakini vile vile nuclear is nuclear fission and nuclear fission zinatumika katika kutengeneza silaha ambazo ni mabomu ya nuclear kwa hiyo ni matumizi mawili one 
One of the application of what we call nuclear fission and nuclear fusion is they are used in nuclear power plants. They are used in nuclear power plants to generate electricity for domestic, un for domestic and industrial use. So we just use this electricity that is generated from the nuclear power plants for our domestic use and industrial. Kwa umeme ambao unazarishwa kwa nishani, umeme ambao unazarishwa kwa nuclear unatumika majumbani na unatumika viwandani. Na ndio maana baadhi ya nchi zinatumia nishati ya nuclear kama kuzalisha umeme kwa matumizi ya viwandani na majumbani. And the second use it is used in making nuclear bombs. It is used in making weapons. Inatumika kutengeneza silaha ambazo kama mabomu ya kinuclear ambao ni hatari zaidi kama inakuwa yanakuwa released kwenye dunia au kwenye sehemu ambapo kuna makazi ya watu kwa sababu madhara yake ni ya muda mrefu zaidi na yanachukua miaka miaka mingi zaidi kuweza kuisha. Therefore one of the application of what we call in nuclear fission and nuclear fusion they are used in nuclear power plants to generate electricity and secondary it is used in making nuclear bombs that is the nuclear weapons so this is all about nuclear fission and nuclear fusion so to differentiate them one is all about breaking down and the other is all about joining together so this is the end up of what we call it types of nuclear reaction now whenever you are discussing about nuclear reactions you have to know only we have two of them one is nuclear fission and the second is nuclear fusion and there is a different as I've explained so thank you very much for watching our videos now you better subscribe for the good coming up learning video as much as we can thank you very much